When one thinks of beachcombing and shell collecting, New York doesn't exactly come to mind as a top-tier destination. Though in fact, quite the opposite is true. The state of New York, and in particular, the beaches of Long Island, boast some of the best shell collecting locations in the Northeast United States. Long Island, New York exists in somewhat of an overlap zone, where the cold waters from the Labrador Current blend with the warmer water currents to the south. This means that you can often find a varied assortment of shells due to the influences of both marine climate environments. On this adventure, I am taking you all along to the remote shores of Fire Island National Seashore on southern Long Island. We've visited here before, but I had such a great experience the last time that I wanted to take you all along again. Let's go. So it's a little bit windier than it was uh, last time uh, I was here. Hopefully it's not too windy. Um, so we're gonna look through these beautiful rocks here. Maybe we can find something. Lots of little Astartes this morning. Beautiful color on this northern quahog here. Look at that. I don't often pick up quahogs, but this one has a particularly pretty orange cast to it. So. These are very common on the beach, but this is a particularly beautiful one. I'll leave it there. I have no idea what this is, but that is beautiful. I'm gonna have to search what this is, because I don't know. If you know, leave it in the comments. That's gorgeous. What is this? I've never seen this type of shell before. It is some sort of a moon snail, but I'm not sure. Very beautiful though. Definitely gonna keep it. Cool. Wow. Oh, look, there's another one here. Look at that. This one's even more, uh, colorful. I don't know, but I'm excited. I like finding new types of shells. That's fun.
think I just found. Yep. Oh, it's broken though. It's a uh, channeled whelk. But it does have a hole in it. I haven't seen too many full whelks on this beach. Knobbed whelks, channeled whelks. Uh, but we'll see. There might be some if we keep looking. That is uh, Stimson's Colas. Beautiful. Find a lot of those up in up in Maine. I'm surprised to find one here. But nonetheless beautiful. And a beautiful blue piece of sea glass. Two steps away from the Stimson's Colas. A beauty. What do you think, everybody? You think it'll be whole or not? Let's check it out. It is. That's a whole shark eye. Love shark eyes. Shark eye moon snail. Very beautiful shell. Nice. Love that one. Well, everyone, my pockets are getting full again. So I made it down. There's a lot of drift over here. I just got really excited. Um, let's go check it out. So right away, there is a beautiful, I believe that's a blood arc. Now here, I think I see a northern moon snail. Let's check it out. It is. Look at that, right there. I was excited about this drift pile. And... Wow, a shark eye? Guys, you can't... <laughs> Look at this. That other one. Uh, that one's broken. Wow, three in a row. Wow, look at this. That's, uh, that's another common. That's another northern moon snail. Well, everybody, my pockets are going to... Well, look at this. If this is whole, this is going to be huge. Oh, it's not whole. <laughs> I thought it was going to be. There's a lot here. Beautiful scallop here. I wonder if this will be whole. Look at the color on that. Wow, guys, I can't. Another shark eye. Look at this. Just from a few steps here. I have to put some in my pocket. So earlier we picked up. We saw a spider crab carapace. This is the leg. Sorry, the claw. Well, leg and claw of a spider crab. It comes full circle here on Fire Island.
have to admit, the uh, the best part of, of doing this is just being out uh, where there's nobody. So it's the remoteness of it all. Uh, it's, it's one of the reasons why I love to come out and shell collect, specifically in places where uh, I'm the only one on the beach. This is um, this is one of those places. It is so beautiful here. It smells fresh, beautiful sea salt air, beautiful ocean right out in front of me, and uh, a pocket full of seashells. Good stuff. Check out this beautiful bay scallop. Oh man. Ah, it's a little broken. Look at the color on that. That's beautiful, man. Oh, I'm sorry, my sweatshirt string keeps getting in the way of the camera. That's beautiful. Let's just leave that back here. Definitely don't need any more of those. So I just found a skunk scallop, or it's not called a skunk scallop, it's a bay scallop but skunk colors, these are usually black and yellow. This one is red and yellow. So that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. That's pretty scallop there. And I just found a northern whelk. These are very common in Maine, but I have not found any here, and that's perfect. That is a... That's a northern whelk. Nice to find one of these hole here. I found bits and pieces, but that's a nice find. There's a lot of drift up here. Let's see what else we can get. Big blue green base scallop up here. Oh my gosh, look at this. Look at the color of that. That is. It's blue green. I've never seen one like that before. So, this is another example of a shell that I believe has been sitting in some sediment offshore. It's a uh, very dark coloration but uh, it looks like it's almost green in the middle. That's a very beautiful base scallop. I'm gonna keep that one. This is a giant horseshoe crab carapace. Wow, this is unbelievably big. Look at the size of that. That is a horseshoe crab. Wow, he is very, very large. Much bigger than my hand. Magnificent creatures. I just found a huge, huge piece of sea glass here. Look at that. That is massive. Wow. That's the biggest piece of sea glass today by far. Scallop here. Ah, uh, that's very pretty. I don't think that's a base scallop. I think that's something else. I'll have to look it up. That's beautiful though. It's a beautiful scallop. It is broken. It's a sand dollar.
All right, let's take a look at some of the beautiful shells we got today. So I got a, I'm not sure what kind of moon snail this is. It's some sort of moon snail. I'm gonna look up, get the ID for it. That is a northern moon snail. We got a northern whelk in there. Uh, we got a Stimson's colus, fallen angel wing under that. Got a beautiful base scallop on the top there. Some other type of scallop. I'm not sure what that is, but I will get the ID on that and a beautiful shark eye in the corner. Look at these gorgeous shells here on Fire Island today. What's up everybody? Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the content. If you did, please consider hitting that subscribe button and I will see you on the next shelling adventure.